What is going on crypto family? Today I wanted to cover one of my favorite research tools to find the top yield farming pools in the crypto space and that's DeFi Llama. So DeFi Llama is an all-in-one DEX aggregator and search engine. It's able to compile the best performing pools for the most popular blockchains out there including Ethereum, Bitcoin, Polygon, Optimism, Arbitrum, Phantom, Avalanche, the list goes on. So today I wanted to cover the three most popular strategies to earn you the highest yield. That includes double asset yield farming, single asset lending, and delta neutral strategies. So we have a lot to cover. Let's get started. So on the homepage DeFiLlama.com, you do see that there's over 48 billion locked up in the DeFi ecosystem across all blockchains. And the most popular platform is Lido on Ethereum. This is liquid staking Ethereum. And second would be MakerDAO on Ethereum and third would be CurveDAO. And what we're looking for specifically is the yield section. So under pools, this would show you the most popular yield farming pools for all blockchains available. So here we have Stake ETH on Lido, we have Bitcoin Lending on Tron, we have Coinbase ETH on the Coinbase.com website, and the ETH Stake ETH on the Curve Network. And under your filter section, you can filter through your desired blockchain. For example, we can look at Matic. And under Matic, we can also pick a minimum amount of total value locked we want under that pool. So as a general rule, I like to look at pools that are a million or above. And for APY, I like to look at things that are 10% or above supply that and from there we can also sort by APY so let's go ahead and look at some of the more popular strategies so from top to bottom Rapmatic USD pool will net you 90% APY here's Rapmatic and Sphere at 47% but I know some of you are thinking what about impermanent loss that's great we can also check on no impermanent loss and just like that it'll filter through the available pools so here's a cool one Matic X on Aave on the Cyan project and this would net you almost 80 18% APY, no in permanent loss. And second, we have Ratmatic Stakematic on the Kyber Swap Network, which would net you 12% APY. And if you want a more detailed view of this pool, you would click on here. And a good way to gauge the performance of the pool is gauging if the APY is steady throughout time. And it looks like it has been a steady 12% over time. And the total value locked has also increased over time. So both of these metrics here are a healthy sign of a healthy pool. And if you wanted to access Access this specific pool itself you scroll lower and click on website or you can also go back to the search page and click on this arrow here and here we have the pool we were looking for you would just simply connect your wallet before you add liquidity and once you add equal amount of both assets you can begin earning rewards just keep in mind rewards are paid out in the kyber swap token just like most dexes they pay out in their native token but once you claim those rewards you're free to go back to the swap section and you can swap those token rewards into a different token token as you would like. Cool, so that was one example for the Matic token. So now we can filter through blockchain. So let's go ahead and look at Avalanche. So here we have Avalanche. So here we have Stake AVAX on Aave on the Cyan project. This would net you 28% APY. Let's click on this arrow here. Make sure you connect your wallet. And for this strategy, you would simply deposit some Avalanche into the platform and hit execute. And right away, you'll begin yield farming the Avalanche token. This is a leverage strategy. So definitely read up on how the yield is collected. And let's cover one more. Solana and let's filter by APY. And obviously you see some of the more extreme APYs over here, 1000%, 200%. Realize that some of these are degen pools that are highly risky, so I don't recommend you invest in some of these pools. Obviously, do your own research before you invest. So let's move on to a lending strategy, specifically lending stable coins. So let's navigate to the stable pool section here. And once again, let's add some parameters over a million in TVL and APY of at least 10%. And under stable coin pools, we do have some new attributes we can add. So single exposure means only a single asset, no outliers, that means nothing exotic, nothing fishy. Stable outlook means the APY is stabilized or rising. It's what we want. And high confidence. We have high confidence that the pool is safe and has a positive outlook. So here we have a few pools according to our criteria and let's sort by APY. Cool. So here's a cool one. USDT lending on the Optimism Network and that will net you 16%. Let's click on here. And here's a pool specifically we were looking for. Let's click on this. And on the website, it is giving us an updated value 
of 22% APY for single-sided lending and you will go ahead and connect the wallet and make the deposit and again you are paid out in their native token so feel free to swap that back to whichever coin you would like at the end so here's another cool one USDC lending on the Credix platform built on Solana this would net you close to 15% APY let's click on this Credix is an interesting use case scenario they essentially provide your credit to fintech leaders in Latin America and all the deals and credits are over collateralized by real world assets like loans receivables cars anyways definitely do your research before lending any USDC on this platform but for lending you would earn 14% APY. I cannot emphasize about doing your due diligence on these platforms. DeFi Llama does not vet any of them. DeFi Llama only aggregates the search results for you. It's up to you to make the decision whether the platform is safe or not. Invest at your own risk. And one more die on the gains network which would net you 10% APY. And let's look at one more strategy which is Delta Neutral. So Delta Neutral is a two-part strategy where you're essentially long and short at the same time on a single asset this way you can protect yourself from volatility and earn a yield even if the market goes up or down so you would pick which collateral token you would like to use for example ethereum and you'd sort by strategy apy so definitely a lot of dj plays here so do your own research before investing in some of these pools and finally as a bonus you can actually be paid to borrow tokens so let's go ahead and pick USDC and once you have that for net borrow you can actually sort to the positive APYs so for example you can borrow USDC and earn 4% and this is the clap project on the Clayton network so DeFi Llama has definitely become my new favorite tool for researching the top pools where I can earn the highest yield if you're new to yield farming I definitely recommend you check out my other videos specifically the ones on BC finance where I cover how to yield farm within the platform so let me me know what your favorite feature on DeFi Llama is let me know in the comment section and as always if you have any questions please leave a question in the comment section I'll be happy to respond don't forget to like and subscribe I'll see you on the next one